Hi, I'm Michael Cerberus. And I'm Judy Kuhn. And uh, we are from the Cast of Fun Home, and we are here to reveal everything that you could ever want to know about each other and answer your questions. Okay. <laughs> you signed on for something I'm, different yeah, than I did, I'm I really, think. <laughs> I really made Judy nervous now. Jocelyn would like to know if you could star opposite me in another show, <laughs> what would it be and what role would you like to play? That's an interesting question. Oh. Well, this is one of those roles that's passed me by, but it's one that I thought about would be really fun to do together, and that's Sunday in the Park. Well, I, why does it have to have passed you by? Okay. Let's do I'll, Sunday I'll in the Park. I would love to do that. That's because well, that's I've I would always like to wanted do. to play Dot too. I God, that score just—it's just fantastic. Yeah, yeah. We'll, just right. find, we'll find a really big theater okay. where the audience is far away, <laughs> and they'll never. Know. <laughs> um. From Nick, <laughs> do you enjoy having hair on stage? <laughs> I enjoy having hair anytime I can. Um, I do. I love that uh, that it it immediately changes my you know the impression I make um, without me having even done anything. And, uh, and I, this one, I love this wig. Uh, I think it's I think it's great. Paul Huntley made this one, and he makes most of my wigs. And um, and they're so real and so natural that I love, especially in this show. And I don't. I think different people in the audience get it different times. Part of it, it's really helpful to sort of, um, it's an aspect of Bruce's vanity, I think, that he's, you know, sort of fixing his hair all the time. Right. And, uh, um, and you know, it's probably an aspect of my vanity, but I really like, you know, getting to do that. I haven't done this gesture for a long time. I used to do this gesture, like, all the time. And I don't really get to do it so much anymore. Um, but in the scene when, uh, um, in the beginning of, Maps when when Sydney's talking to you and I'm reading on the on the sofa, um, I usually will just sort of sit and I found myself like, you know, winding the hair around my finger the way you know people with hair will do sometimes <laughs> while they're reading or concentrating. My dad does it all the time and I always think of him um, when I'm doing it. But uh, but I realized one day that I was doing it and I thought, well, that's a good sign that I'm actually treating it like it's actually <laughs> here. And I wonder, and I always wonder if there's going to be somebody sitting back there who notices it, who knows that, you it's know, not you your know hair. especially somebody that is related to me or knows me. And it's like, how sad that Michael is just like mourning his lost hair <laughs> all through this scene. Uh, Aaron would like to know if you were stranded on an island. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Which character from Fun Home would you want with you for any reason? Oh, and then for any particular reason. Um, well, in, in this production, um, I guess I'd have to say, um, uh, <laughs> I, I'm trying to divorce the um, character from the actor who plays the character just because I, I, I just have to say, um, Christian, because I think Zell would keep me so <laughs> occupied. Um, <laughs> I would never get bored on that desert island. <clears throat> um, but uh, if I was going to take it from Helen's perspective, I'd probably want to hang out with um, a, a, you know, Allison, the, uh, the adult Allison, right. and ask her lots of questions. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> This question is from Catherine. Is there any role you wish you could do over? Um, is, is that a sign I could do over? I mean, there are roles that I would like to do again. Um, uh, I probably, uh, I don't know. I don't think there's anything that I, you know, the ones, the ones that I don't think I was very good in, I'm happy to be far away <laughs> from them now, and uh, and the ones that I really enjoyed, um, you know, I, I would be happy to do again. But I also I think I just like sort of always having new challenges or new things to do. Um, 
that said, you know, when when we get to do these um, reunion concert kind of things, right. like when we did a Tommy reunion concert, it was so great to sing that music again, and the Titanic one we did a little while ago was wonderful. Sometimes I think about what the fun home reunion will be like, you know, like in 30 years. <laughs> like in Sydney, like, you'll be like yeah, 40. Yes, like and, our age. And, and, <laughs> and they'll like, we'll roll out in our little wheelchairs. And, That's a really and, good idea. Yeah. We should, let's make a date let's, for that we'll now. Plan it now. <laughs> Why do I feel like I should do every roll over? Okay. <laughs> From Jasmine, I am very familiar with your beautiful work in Pocahontas. Have you done any other voiceovers or singing for other films? Well, actually, <clears throat> uh, maybe possibly a little known fact is that I sang one of the princesses, and I can't remember her name, that's really pathetic, um, in the video sequel to Mulan, which had a score by Janine Tesori. Really? And Janine said, hey, you want to be one of the princesses? There's this trio of these... I, God, I don't remember. I really don't remember anything about it except there was a trio of these three kind of annoying princesses mm -hmm. that have a scene with Mulan and sing a trio. And so, yes, that is the, my only other... Um, somehow I got away with it because Disney doesn't like their their princesses to be other princesses. <laughs> Once oh, you're a princess, that's the princess you are that's for life. That's really so that somehow, maybe because it was a video sequel, I was able right. to sneak in there and do that. This is from Jeffrey. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Please describe each of your leading ladies in one word. Oh my God. <clears throat> there are several, you ready? Okay. Yes. Miriam oh. <laughs> Shore. Oh, uh, rock star. Patty Lapone. Formidable. <laughs> Donna Murphy. Um, um, dreamy. Mary Louise Parker. Um, oh, I've already used formidable. That could be under. It doesn't say you can't use the, the same under, word under twice. Um, um, uh, um, thrilling. Uh, Laura Benanti. Um, hilarious. <laughs> Elena Roger. Um, soulful. Okay, now. <laughs> Judy Kuhn. Better be good. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was good. That was good. <laughs> Boy, that could have gone really badly. <laughs> From Susie. Fun Home is such a serious show. How do you guys lighten the mood off stage? <laughs> Any funny rehearsal stories? Oh. Well, I actually, it is ultimately a serious show, but I think actually it's also hilarious. I mean, yeah. the audience laughs for two thirds of it at least. Yeah. Um, and yes, we keep each other laughing a lot off stage. Um, oh my God, there are so many stories. Let's see, where to begin? Well, um, Joel Perez does many, many, um, has, plays many characters off stage that you will never see on stage. <laughs> He has an Australian guy who pops out every now and then. Um, there's all kinds of characters he plays that keep us laughing a lot. Um, and he and Merrick do the uh, Saturday Night on Broadway tunes Yes, often. yes, they, they often serenade us at half hour on Saturday nights. What are some must-see places and must-eat dishes in New Orleans? For breakfasts, I love going to a place called Elizabeth's um, that is uh, in the Bywater, um, down by the levee. But Elizabeth's has this thing called praline bacon that is basically, mm. Yum. you know, bacon as a delivery system for sugar, essentially. Yum. So, you know, can't go wrong there. <laughs> Would it be too much to also put maple syrup on it, which is what I love to do with my bacon? You know, too much is not <laughs> enough, really, in New Orleans. So, yeah, okay. by all means. Um, so I love, I love that for, um, for uh, breakfasty, brunchy things. Um, for po' boys, I have two favorite places. I love the I love Domelisa's, which is this little tiny, like shack of a place uh, in the Irish Channel that is I just went been there. there forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
that's great. Um, I also love the barbecue shrimp po' boy at La Uses by the track, which is near where Jazz Fest is. Brandon, um, are you getting all this down? <laughs> I hope. Yeah, and then, you know, at three in the morning, Cafe Du Monde for beignets. And, yes, and did that too. Coffee. I won't say what time, but yes, I did <laughs> that too. From Luke, what is your fondest memory from being in the original Broadway production of Les Mis? Um, gosh, there are a lot. Um, it was such an exciting thing to be a part of. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if this is fondest or most embarrassing, but uh, <laughs> when this was a very Royal Shakespeare Company thing to do, um, so the first week of rehearsals, all we did was improvisations, uh, uh, bo both crazy improvisations and also improving on sort of the history of mm -hmm. the whole thing. Um, and the first thing they made us do was we all had to think of a cartoon character. And then we had to figure out a, a way of becoming that cartoon character. And then we had to come up with a like two minute, three minute, well maybe not, maybe even not that long, play that had a beginning, middle, and end which featured that cartoon character, and then perform it for the company. Wow. And um, it, it related to the <coughs> themes of Les Mis at all? No, or just, just like, like that was the nothing, first thing like... we did. We, were, we, we improvised on it, we went home, they were, we were told, come back with a three minute, or whatever, I can't remember how long it was supposed to be, play. And then we sat in a circle and everyone had to get up and do it. And it was an act of Great. I mean, it was basically just everyone was humiliated and went home that day convinced they were going to be fired. Right. <laughs> and really what it was is just like, now we've done the, the most ridiculous thing for each other that we could possibly do, and now we can get to work. Because yeah. it, they called it, you know, jumping through the ring of fire. Because right. now we're an ensemble and we can't embarrass each ourselves right. <laughs> in front of each other anymore because we've done it in such an extreme way already. Yeah. Thank you guys for all the great questions. Yeah, thanks. And thanks to everybody who wrote in whose questions we didn't get to, to do. And come see us in Fun Home. Yeah, we'll be there. We'll put out the, the coffee and cookies <laughs> for you. And probably stimulate some more questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, among your family. <laughs>